Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build a B-1 bomber. I know you've been waiting for a video. I want to tell you guys what happened though. When I was making my mold for this, oh this is my part by the way, it turned out awesome. But uh, when I was uh, taking that out of the mold, I uh, turned my camera on and was sitting there popping this out of the mold. It came out pretty decent by the way. And uh, when I was all done, I looked down there and the camera was off. My battery went dead. So, but anyway, that is my carbon fiber bulkhead for my uh, elevator mechanism. And this fits right inside of there. Fits perfect too. Kind of goes in there at an angle. But I got that all done. And uh, Dad has got my landing gear and my bulkhead set up all done. It is 100% done, and it looks good. Now, another thing I'm going to do when I glue these up, I'm going to take a piece of quarter-inch plywood, that good quarter-inch plywood, and I'm going to trace a pattern of this. And it's only going to be about that wide. It's about three-eighths of an inch. And uh, we're going to screw it to this. We're going to put a bunch of screws in it. And then uh, I'm going to do the other side. And then when I glue it in my fuselage, we're going to high saw it. And th that'll give it an extra bond. That'll give it some wood bond too. Put the stack in there. And uh, in my gas tank is about ready. That's going to fit. That fits in there just perfect. And then you see I'll go and come in here and put my uh, plug right there, or, you know, that fits the fuel out. But that looks good. No, I guess I need to do that in the front. Yeah, I'll do that in the front. And that turned out real good. But you guys know our jet meet's going to be, we've got like 12 days, something like that. And we got another thing going on here. I had to get me a jet ready to fly. So we're going to go over how to put a jet together on a budget. Now I want you guys to know this was not bought with donation dollars. Donation dollars went on them two buckets of resin and uh, what else have I bought? Oh, two gallons of primer. You know that urethane primer is nice but it's kind of pricey. Got two gallons of primer, two more buckets of resin, and I've got some carbon fiber and some other stuff. But I just wanted you guys to know this was not bought on do any any donation money. But uh, I got this off of RC Universe. It was new but used, and I got it cheap. This is a it's a Flying Star shellac made in Italy, and a pretty nice jet. But I got then I got that real cheap. And then my buddy had that a boomerang it was ready to fly it had a jet central uh, 16 pound thrust turbine in it and loaded with good servos and all kinds of good parts it had these electronic retract valve electronic um, brake valve and uh, I bought that jet for cheaper than the price of this turbine it was loaded with 8411 servos extension cords all that stuff in it so I got that whole jet and I bought this and then I stripped that and uh, now I'm going to sell this and that has them brand new retracts it has them uh, jet 1a uh, landing or struts you know that fold back and uh, man that's a make a nice trainer jet for someone and uh, I can let that go real reasonable and uh, so I don't have much in this jet at all and I started on it like two days ago and it's almost done all I got to do is plug my receiver in it and put my finish putting my uh, linkage in the wings I got my servos in it and all I got to do is hook up the rods in this one I got to put the servos in that other one and then I'll have a jet ready hey I want to tell you guys something uh, that insurance company for that 16 year old kid they really took care of me that's how I got uh, that's how I got this together and uh, 
the, the guy was really nice and fast, and bam, they just jumped right on that, and uh, they wanted that release signed. <laughs> they wanted that release signed. So that's how, that's how I got this together, and I just wanted to let you guys know this was not bought on donation dollars. This was my dollars, and uh, man, I got a I got a really good deal on it. I like this jet. I'll probably have when the time it's all done, about two grand in it, and uh, you can't hardly do that for two grand. So I got this done. Our jet meets in ten days, twelve days. That gives me 12 days to lay one of them up, and uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get this jet put together, throw it in out of the way, get that thing out of my way, and Dad's working on them gear, or done on my gear, so I think I'm going to get Dad over here to help me, and we're fixing to slam one of them up. Then, uh, then we'll hit you guys with a bunch of movies, because we're going to vacuum bag that, and uh, get one of the fuselages laid up. i got all the parts I need. And uh, we got, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my elevator. I got, here, put that over there on that carpet or something. See these holes right here? Or these indentations? Uh, first, we made up this one. It's carbon fiber tube. Well, it's kind of big, and it don't go very far inside the elevator. So we're going to make another one. What we did is we take, I, Dad made this one up. You see, it'll fit inside that hole. We can trim that lip down a little bit. And I'm going to make one of these carbon fiber tubes. I'm going to uh, lay all my carbon on there and uh, go around it and then let it set up and then put it that, in, that whole thing in the freezer and then pop, it'll pop right off of there. And then we can glue this inside my elevator. Okay, then we're gonna have these shafts sticking out because I've got that big long one that's gonna go all the way through. And then, see this is the bearing, this was the smallest bearing we can get for this. That's kind of why that ended up so big. But then I went to uh, BRC bearings and they had these little, uh, pin roller bearings so we decided to use them that way I could get this tube smaller and it'll fit inside there like it should and go like that so each side will work independently on these bearings and then what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, you know once I get that other one made I could put me a, a ball link on there and make me a little slice in there you know, for that ball link to fit through. Then I could run my my shafts down right down here and put my servos right here on each side. And they'll work independently. And uh, it's going to work out really good. This thing's going to be, this thing is beefy. We had a couple guys saying, why so much carbon fiber? Why so much carbon fiber? Why so much carbon fiber? Uh, you can get, you know, I'm going to tell you straight up about this carbon fiber. The more you put, the stronger it is. And uh, I, don't, I don't want any flex in this. I want that thing glued. I want, I want to shoot that with a 45 slug and have that thing bounce off. You know, I don't want any slop in my elevator. I don't want it wobbling. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of money. A lot of money in a big old airplane riding on this right here. And uh, that's why the more carbon fiber you put, the stronger it'll be. And uh, that's the reason I put so much there. You know, sure, I could have put just a few layers and made a pretty stiff little piece, but uh, I want this thing bulletproof, man. And uh, I think I did it. But that's, that's that part. Now that I got that made, that's 100% finished. We're ready to lay up a fuselage. But I got a couple more hours. I can't show up at that jet meet down there with nothing to fly. I'm sorry, folks. I just can't do it. <laughs> and just have to stand around all weekend. And, you know, I'm not going to have the bomber ready to fly anyway, so I got to have something. So, I got me a shellac. It's going to be ready to fly. I'm going to have a bomber laid up so we can at least have a few slots sitting there on wheels. 
you know, and getting the cells hanging on it. And uh, it's going to be cool. I can't wait to get that thing flying. But it ain't going to happen this month. You know, we got to we got to make it right. We got to make it durable. We got to make it flight worthy and it just ain't going to happen. But it will. You're know, right, dad. We're going to get that thing flying. We'll get her. Yeah. So, until then, uh I want I want to see all you guys there in, in October 22nd, Breckenridge, Texas for our jet meet. We're going to have some fun. We got free food. We got a guy going to cook it up, and we got a guy going to barbecue everything. It's going to be brisket, and just it's he's going to put on the show, people, and it's going to be fun. And uh, awesome place to fly. Uh, there's just nothing, man, as far as your eyes can see, just nothing. I ain't a tree, no trees, no a bugs. telephone pole. They're just it's awesome place to fly jets. We got like three different runways. Don't matter which way the wind's blowing. They're brand new, black top paved. Uh, it's going to be awesome, people. We're going to have some fun. And uh, until then, and I hope to meet all you people. I hope to shake everybody's hands and and uh, I might get some more T-shirts made up. I have some raffles for them, and just we're going to have a good time. And uh, tell them about all the uh, uh, airplanes that they've got. Oh yeah, them. they they rebuild real warbirds there. And they actually got some Reno racers there too. They build there, and they're just, they're just awesome, nice people. You can go in and look at them. Uh, last time we was there, they had what? They had a couple P51s. They had a Bearcat. Corsair. Did they have? Oh, they had part of one there. They was building on it. Yeah, a Corsair, and uh, oh, just some nice stuff. I mean, real stuff. And they race them at Reno. That's how Butch knows them. He went to Reno with him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so I'm jealous. But uh, I got over it. But that's where we're at, folks. My gear's ready. I'm excited about this. I'm ready to get one laid up. And now that I've got all my parts, ain't no excuse why I can't. I'm going to get it done. i got 10 days to do it. It's going to happen. So, and uh, we're going to hit you guys with some movies. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you in Texas. And we will see you in the shop.